Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial you will learn about nested if and you would also do an example script on nested if statement. Let's start to write a simple program on nested if. Let's open up the notepad and start writing the program. Write a program to find the greater number among the given three numbers using nested if. So as we know, if we do that using the quotation, single quotation, it's not going to affect the script. So basically a nested if is an if statement inside another if statement. You need to be careful to close the if using end if except in cases where you finish the if statement in one single line. This exception case we have already discussed it while we have uh, uh, while I have explained you about uh, the if statements. Now let's get back to the script. And as we start the script, let's give a equals as we have done before a equals c int input box. Enter the value of A or enter the value of first number. So similarly, do the same. So in this case, it is C. Input box into the value of B and enter the val value of C. Now, three values of integer are stored inside a b and c now we need to find which of these three values entered are is a bigger one so we have already done this using if statement and using uh, boolean operators by giving and inside the if statement if you haven't seen that please go back to my previous tutorial where i have already explained you about that now let's use if a is greater than B then use the tab key to move a space uh, ahead of uh, this one because this is a nested if and if A is greater than C then obviously then message box A is greater else if a is let's write else message box c is greater obviously because if a is greater than b and if a is greater than c then a is greater and if a is greater than b then b is out of our equation now we have either a is greater or c is greater so if a is not greater then c is greater that's all now let's use the end if here and use the end if outside so we have two end if because we have two two ifs now let's get back to the next row of statement that is 
now we have a is greater and c is greater now we need b is greater as well right so we will use b if b is greater than a then if b is greater than c don't don't forget to use the then then message box obviously c is greater sorry b is greater else message box b is greater than a if it is b or c c is greater now use the end if and use end if here now let's see how this program works let's get back to this one maybe scripts and VB files it's 21 no 22 no 23 select case 21 22 nested if so let's put nested if one okay now let's run the script here expected line three let's get let's get back to line three line one and two and three okay we need a closure of brackets which we always forget i mean i always forget enter the value of a let's enter one two three nothing comes up no c is greater it comes up so c is greater you can also make it to appear that which number is greater in that so maybe you can write it as a ampersand quotation c ampersand double quotation b ampersand double quotation c ampersand double quotation just save it and run the script once again one two three three is greater now let's try three two one three is greater now let's try one three two so we have tried the greater number in the uh, in the places of a b and c and we have found that the program works well now let's try to give the same number everywhere you can see that the program doesn't say anything or it doesn't say that the numbers you enter is the same now let's get back to the program and apply a little bit more logic into this so we will use else if c is greater than a which is obvious then c is greater now we will use here else message box all are same we will use the same logic here as well so we will use else if and we will state the obvious that is c is greater than b then message box and else message box now let's save it and get back to the program and run the program once again now this time let's try the normal ones and you can see it works out now let's try with 3 3 and 3 and it doesn't work it doesn't seem to work that means that something is wrong or right, let's just try to run the program once again two two and two doesn't work out five one and three five is greater let's get back to the program and find out what is really going wrong 
so else all right so let's see what happens if we give 5 5 and 5 so 5 is greater than 5 if 5 is greater than 5 5 will never be greater than 5 so in this line itself the program doesn't seem to work or it, it just goes to end if and it, the program ends so we need if a is greater than or equal to this is what we need now let's save this and then again run the program two two and two all are same now let's try something else six five two and five six is greater so it works cool now and uh, that's all about the nested if statement i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please try this uh please writing the please try writing the program by yourself and if you have any doubt you could comment below the video and you could also write to me at ketchia.prodouser at gmail.com please subscribe subscribe and share the video and uh, stay tuned